Welcome back to the show. Miss Charlotte Stewart stepped up for a moment so that we could do all mail from you. Right? Right? Yes. Right. All right. So uh, how are you, Mr. Livingston? I'm quite well. I had a day off. Well, you know, you deserve many days off. I but guess. I need you too much, so you cannot do that. Mm. What about you, Tangela? You know, she's been smiling too much today, and that concerns me. I'm expecting something to pop up. No, no, she, she causes trouble. When she's smiling, she's up to no good. All right, well, let's do some mail, right? Right. Right. Then we're going to get back to the hearse. San Jose. San Jose. Do you know the way to San Jose? I believe so. So do I. Sometimes. Unless you're not driving, then I don't. This is from Bean and Dip. I found that rather odd as well. Are we celebrating something? You know, we need to, like, take away her Amazon account. Bean and Dip. All right. Dear Vincent and company, we are Bean and Dip. We love your show, especially Tangela. I have no response to that. Recently, you changed your time slot. This is bad for us and a lot of people living around us. It used to be 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. was a horror show, much like yours, then your show, 10 p.m. every Saturday. Subsequently, we have to miss half of one show or another, so we miss half of your show. Fix it. Thanks, Bean and Dip. P.S. Livingston, get a haircut. Uh, they're talking about Sven Gulli. I think they're joking, actually. Yeah. You need to buy one of those DVR things. So watch us on Sunday. You know, with Sven Gulli, you have to watch him live. Because you cannot record Sven Gulli and you cannot go to YouTube to see Sven Gulli. So uh, watch us whenever you want. You know, that's the power of Creature Features. We arrange it so you can watch it anywhere, anytime, anywhere you want. Right? Correct. She's going to give me a coronary with this going on. Hey, don't you have any control over this girl? Soon. All right, thanks for writing, Bean and Dip. And yes, he does need a haircut. Agreed. Next up, sir. Haircut. Email. An email. This is from Papa Pacifica. But it says Joe. This is from Joe Taverna, who also goes by Papa Pacifica. I like that. No, he should open a fish monger place called Papa Pacifica. It'd Fish be nice. Monger. All right, here we go. Uh, subject, this week's show. Message, Kerry Byron was a great guest. Should be on more often. Great show as usual. Movie was average, but better than last week's. Kerry was wonderful. Everybody liked her so much, and they were so happy to see her on the show. And uh, it's always fun having Kerry Byron on because, uh, you know, this is only the first time, but I think it would always be fun to have Carrie Byron on, right? I think you might be correct. Right, right. No, she's fun. We hope to have her on again soon. Thanks for writing, Papa Pacifica. My goodness. Those are like the high-octane kind. The sound people are not happy. She's terrible. All right, another written... We, we got our key back, I take it. Yes. That's good. All right. I had uh, an extra made. Uh, this is handwritten in pencil. All right, and this letter is from our third... Okay, all right, so. Uh, Dear Creature Features, this is from Jeffrey Quinones. 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 Jeffrey Quinones, he says, Dear Creature Features, I have been a huge fan of horror movies my whole life, and your program is no exception. It's got everything from B-movie slasher flicks to black and white budget sci-fi adventure. I would appreciate if you would honor my request for you to broadcast Nosferatu 1922 version. To me, Nosferatu is often overlooked and deserves more attention. It would be perfect for the Halloween season and a perfect movie to escape from this trying time in our life. Sincerely, your loyal fan of the macabre, Jeffrey Qui Quinones. Quinones. P.S. Also for Thanksgiving, could you play a certain Keiju film, Gamera the Invisible? Oh, the Invincible. Just a thought. I don't think we've shown that one, have we? We've shown that one? Yeah. All right, we're going to try to show that on Thanksgiving for you. Um, on Nosferatu, we showed that uh, on Christmas, did we not? We did. So if you go on YouTube and look up our last Christmas show, we did Nosferatu. And you know who picked that film was this one. It's one of her favorites as well. So 
you two have something in common. I, I thought it was me. What? No, she chose it. She did. It just happens it's to be story. my favorite as well. No, oh, well. You, you, I thought you did not like these films. Nosferatu is a yeah. classic. Oh. You just like it because it's German. Exactly. Oh, God. All right, that it? We have one more. One more letter. This one came by email. All right, and there's no name. And my, oh, Of course you're going to get a dud. My goodness. Can we, like, pour a bucket of water over her head or something to make this stop? We have very expensive antique furniture. All right, uh, no name, no city. Hey, Vince, you stupid wank. Your show is rubbish. The tall bloke is okay. The bird is rather nice, too. But you have a face made for radio. Why don't you go back there where you belong and play music again, you bloody minga? Yours truly, not your former bass player, not from your former band. I know who this is from. Indeed. You know, you should warn me about this. He probably had the email. You probably would have recognized it. I don't want to play music anymore. Stop bothering me. That's it for letters. If you'd like to send us a letter via email, send it to this address you see appearing down here. If you'd like to send something in the post, use the address you see down here. We'll be right back with Miss Stewart, but first we're going to get back to the hearse. Hi, this is Barbara from San Jose, California. The movies would be a lot easier to hear if you had closed captioning words for the movie and for the host. I said easier and not better because nothing can make the movies better. Thanks. Bye.